Welcome back to Will It Shoe. This week, we're taking this Columbia fleece and trying to turn it into a pair of thermal sneakers. The history of fleece actually begins with a different brand, Patagonia, when founder and rock climber Yvonne Chouinard started using a hydrophobic material initially designed for toilet seat covers as a reference point for a new sweater. After partnering with Molden Mills, now Polartec, the lightweight, fast-drying sweater went into production. It took the outdoors community by storm and eventually went pretty mainstream. Nowadays, fleece is everywhere. A material that's kind of both futuristic and dated at the same time, it's become a staple of tech wear heads, vintage lovers, and just about everyone in between. But how will it hold up to being used as shoes? Honestly, we're not sure. It's stretchy, which is always a plus, but it is a bit light and thin, so it does run the risk of tearing on the lasting machine. But why speculate when we can just send it off to the workshop and see what they can do?
Hello. <laughs> I think that's just the colour that caught me. I'm been really into that kind of corally, salmony, rusty pink lately. Hopefully the camera does the colours justice because it's looking a little bit bright to me on the monitor at the moment, but they're kind of like a... Yeah! <laughs> Maybe not the, the go-to for your normal fleece wearer. Maybe not outdoorsy enough. But I feel like they kind of have got like utility vibes simply because we left the press stud on the back. Yeah. And if you look, you can actually join the two shoes together. <gasps> what? <laughs> if that's not utility, I don't know what is. That's genius. It's an un un completely unnecessary but very cool yeah. feature. Um, one spot, one spot. <laughs> I love them. I think they're great. Yeah, they're quite tidy, aren't they? Is that a black sole or is it kind of like a navy, dark navy? Navy. We yeah. We took the navy trim from the fleece and just ran with it. It matches the, the trim so well. Put a little bit of contrast pink stitching on the binding. <sighs> Team really went to town. <laughs> <laughs> they really did. They, they kind of. I think this this is really fun for me because it's like it is these details that make the shoes that we actually make so good, in my opinion at least. And I'm allowed to say that because I don't make the shoes. But yeah, seeing those details come through on what is essentially a fun project and a sample is. It's just great. Notice you've got them to do these in your size. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might uh, have a few extra pairs of shoes in my collection after the last run of Will It Shoe. Maybe up there is one of my favourites, but I, I don't know if that's just the colour. It is ace though. 